Jayo Radha Mahathava Kunjabi Hari Jayo Gopi Janavallava Girivara
Namachaya Shila Haridas Tarko Kijai. Prem Se Kaho Shi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadata Shivasa Di Gora Bhakta Vrinda Kijai. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gogopina Chamakun Radha Kun Giri Raj Gopadana Kijai. Vrindavan Mathura Dhamma Kijai. Mayapur Navadvip Dhamma Kijai. Shri Jagannath Puri Dhamma Kijai. Ganga Maya Kijai. Yamuna Maya Kijai. Tusi Devi Kijai. Bhakti Devi Kijai. Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Transcendental Book Distribution Ki Jai, Transcendental Prasadam Distribution Ki Jai, Shri Harinama Sankirtan Yagna Ki Jai, Cow Protection Ki Jai, New Govardhan Farm Community Ki Jai, O Glories to the Assembled Devotees, O Glories to the Assembled Devotees, O Glories to Shri Guru and Shri Goranga, O Glories to Srila Prabhupada. <coughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Mudarayat. Before reciting the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances unto the personality of Godhead Narayana, unto Nara Narayana Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Srila Vyasadeva, the author. Nashta Prayeshvabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttamashloke Bhaktir Bhavati Nashtaki By regular attendance in classes on the Bhagavatam and by rendering service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed. And loving service unto the personality of Godhead, who is praised with transcendental songs established as an irrevocable fact. Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam. Canto 3, chapter, na- chapter 9, verse 37. Dubyamat vichikitsayam Atma me dashito bahi, Atma me dashito bahi, Nalena salile mulam, Nalena salile mulam, Pushkarasya vichin vataha, Pushkarasya vichin vataha, Tubyama vichikit sayam, Atma me dashito bahi, Atma me dashito bahi. Nalena salile mulam, Nalena salile mulam, Pushkarasya vichin vataha, Pushkarasya vichin vataha, Tubyama vichikit sayam, Tubyama vichikit sayam, Atma dashito bahi, Atma me dashito bahi, Nalena salile mulam, Nalena salile mulam, Pushkarasya vichin vataha, To be un, unto you, mat, me, me, which gets I am, when you're trying to know, atma, self, me, of myself, dashitaha, exhibited, abaihi, from within, Nalena, through the stem, Salile, 
in the water, Mulam root, Puskarasya of the lotus, the primeval source, which in Bataha contemplating. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. When you were contemplating, there was a source to the stem of the lotus of your birth. And you even entered into that stem. You could not trace out anything. At that time, I manifested my form from within. Please repeat. When you were contemplating, where there, were, there was a source to the stem of your lotus, of your birth, and when you, en when you even entered into that stem, you could not trace out anything. But at that time, I manifested my form from within. Report. The Personality of Godhead can be experienced only by His causeless mercy, not by mental speculation or with the help of the material senses. Material senses cannot approach the transcendental understanding of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He can be appreciated only by submissive devotional service when He reveals Himself before the devotee. Only by love of Godhead can, know, can one know God, not otherwise. The Personality of Godhead cannot be seen with the material eyes, but He can be seen from within by spiritual eyes, opened by the ointment of love of Godhead. As long as one's spiritual eyes are closed, Due to the dirty covering of matter, one cannot see the Lord. But when the dirt is removed by the process of devotion service, one can see the Lord, without a doubt. Brahma's personal endeavor to see the root of the lotus pipe failed. But when the Lord was satisfied by his penance and devotion, he revealed himself from within with no external endeavor. I read the verse again. When you were contemplating whether there was a source to the stem of the lotus of your birth, you even entered into that stem. You could not trace out anything. But at that time, I manifested my form from within. So, uh, we continue the chapter Brahma's prayers for creative energy. This is very um, interesting. Uh, the first creative being uh, could not detect his origin. This is something to note because uh, Srila Prabhupada explains in a purport that no blunt material senses or sense perception can perceive the Lord as he is. The Lord is behind these material coverings. No living entity can understanding, especially fully, without His mercy, without His blessings. Um, so Brahmaji had to uh, have the mercy, the blessings of the Lord. And the Lord is reciprocating according to one's eagerness to know Him, sincerity. More sincere one is in the worship service, more revelation he has in his heart. And this is also very important to note that Lord Brahmaji 
was such a powerful personality, the first created being in this whole cosmic manifestation, he could not perceive him. And as he performed his tapasya, tapa, tapasya, of the great endeavor, the Lord showed compassion and revealed himself within his heart. Chetya, Chetya Guru, the original Guru, Guru within the Parama Atma. And then he had the revelation, who actually the source of this stem, because as we know in the previous verses that Lord Brahma, the original father of this universe, uh, he came out from the lotus flower, which emanating from the navel of Lord Vishnu, but he could not perceive him. So by his material intelligence, trying to analyze it and try to rationalize it where he is manifested. He has no father, no mother, is manifesting in a, uh, a void, uh, in, in, um, he had no perception. Nevertheless, he was eager, very sincere, to understand the root of all causes, cause of all causes, kara, karana, karana. Um, which is very important as we study Brahma Samhita because the very first verse which I often quote myself this verse because it's so important to understand Ishwaraha Paramaha Krishna Sat Chit Ananda Vigraha Anadir Adir Govindaha Sarva Karana Karanam The cause of all causes He's got a beautiful form Vigraha Satchit Ananda, Parama Ishwaraha, Parama Ishwaraha, the Supreme Controller, the Supreme Divine, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Srila Prabhupada uh, carefully selected these words. Uh, often weeks of many, many days of carefully contemplating which would be the best word to express an English language is not exactly suitable to express the greatness of God or his transcendental qualities. Nevertheless, Srila Prabhupada, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is so nice to say. Because it is we have the opportunity, just like Brahmaji, to discover within our own heart within through the revelations of the scriptures, hearing from Sri Guru, hearing Mahaprabhu's teaching, Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu, and uh, revelations will be there within, heart, within our heart. We realize Krishna by their mercy. Sri Guru and Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu. But without their mercy, we have no access. Yasya Prasada, Bhagavat Prasada. We sing that every morning. It's a reminder for us. When we sing these prayers in the morning, we have to not only understand but express our feelings and gratitude to Sri Parampara, what knowledge we are receiving here. And Brahmaji is the initiator, the originator of our Sampradaya, is the guru of our Sampradaya, often called Mahapita, the father of this whole universe. And he also had to receive the mercy of the Lord to have this revelation. As Srila Prabhupada says in the purple, that no material senses, blunt senses, can comprehend who God is. It's beyond our perception. Therefore, we always need His blessings and mercy, whatever. Without Him, we cannot understand even simple things. Um, and Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita himself that actually no one can understand him in truth unless one is a bhakta, a devotee. When we devote ourselves to Krishna, then Krishna, out of his kindness, is revealing himself. Uh, actually, uh, I was searching for some verses 
this is a very good um, a couple of verses here, which is very uh, relevant supporting this topic here. This um, in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Rupa Goswami, uh, quote, No one can understand Krishna as he is by the blunt material senses, but he reveals himself to the devotees, being pleased with them for their transcendental loving service unto him. And Krishna also himself, Bhagavad Gita 18, Chapter, verse 55, quote, One can understand the Supreme Personality as He is only by the devotional service. And one is in full consciousness of the Supreme Lord by such a devotion, he can enter into the Kingdom of God. Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila, Chapter 4, 77, Srila Prabhupada explains in the purport, The atheists cannot understand how the Supreme Personality of Godhead, appearing in the form of deity, can eat all the food offered by his devotees. Patram pushpam palam toyam yome bhaktya payachati Tad aham bhakti upapritam asnanim asnami prayatat manaha. Translation If one offers me with love and devotion a, a leaf, a flower, a fruit, a water, I will accept it. So Srila Prabhupada explains that no one can, no one can understand these truths unless Krishna is pleased by the devotion, by the sincerity of the Bhakta. On the other hand, the many seekers who bypass the Supreme Personality of Godhead and try to rationalize the concept of God what is God, Godhead? Just like we have the modern scientists who have no humility to hear, to inquire from authorities. They don't accept the um, descending process. We call it descending process. And the authority is passing down the knowledge. Often we call uh, Sri Parampara, the Mahajanas, the great authorities, we have 12 Mahajanas, very prominent Mahajanas. Mahajana means the great authorities of spiritual knowledge, Divya Jnana, transcendental knowledge. So we hear from them. They are representing perfect knowledge, complete knowledge, Divya Jnana. Their knowledge is not based on imperfect senses of a human being. On the other hand, modern science seeking knowledge naturally. This is nature of a human being to seek knowledge. We are, uh, we are proud of our age of enlightenment, We're seeking knowledge, scientific achievements, technologies, um, but they're all based on imperfect senses. They cannot provide transcendental knowledge. Transcendental knowledge has to be received by the grace of the Lord and His representations. So we can see, if we look, if we analyze our own Sampradaya, how fortunate we are to have all these great personalities appearing, including Maradaji, Vyasa, Madhvacharya, and coming down to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the six Goswamis, coming down gradually Narottamadas Thakur, coming down to our present day Bhakti Thakur, Srila Bhakti Sadanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, and Ashila Prabhupada, and even now so many very sincere, honest devotees with great accomplishments representing Srila Prabhupada. So 
So ultimately, one's sincerity, authenticity, and a loyalty to our gurus, our sampradaya, and humble, sincere, pure devotion, which manifested in services, service to Vaishnava. Serving to Srila Prabhupada means the serving his devotees, naturally. Srila Bhakti Saranta Saraswati, often Prabhupada used to refer to him also on this topic, that uh, more we become the servant of the servant of the servant, even up to hundred times, servant of the servant of the servant, then we can actually start making advancement. Because we have no qualification to approach uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We approach Him through His devotees. So when we serve the devotees, then Krishna is very pleased. Guru and Goranga are very pleased. This is when we get them the actual knowledge, the true knowledge, spiritual knowledge, realized knowledge, Vigyana, Vigyana, which modern science People who have no faith in the Shastras, they cannot understand these things. They can, they cannot. They can, they can uh, concoct some idea about God and usually come to some kind of a void or impersonal understanding who God is. Uh, they're searching, intelligent people searching. Very, very, just like Brahmaji was searching, where I come from, what is going on? But he could not pr perceive, he could not perceive unless the Lord is giving his blessings and he actually reveals himself. So Krishna reveals himself to a devotee when we actually convince him of our sincerity. Within our consciousness, within our hearts, within our daily activities, uh, trying to remember his lotus feet, his instructions, his teachings, and live that instruction, follow through, application, becoming actually a bhakta, a devotee, then Krishna, by his kindness, mercy, reveals knowledge. That's why we have so much emphasis on Vaishnava Seva. And within Vaishnava Seva, we have etiquettes. You see, Vaishnava etiquettes, how we relate to one another. So naturally, um, as Rupa Goswami also says in the Nectar of Instruction, Upadeshamrita, that we dealing with the world is according to their uh, positions, uh, the equal the devotees who are equal in, in spiritual realization. We make friends, friendship very close, intimate friendship. Uh, uh, someone who is less senior, less advanced, we encourage, we give lots of love and support. More advanced, we humbly serve and inquire. That's how we receive knowledge, as a proper etiquette, very healthy, because that way we can all move forward in pleasing the Supreme Personality of Godhead um, and knowledge, inspiration will come, and even aspiration, because we actually want to become pure devotees of Krishna. We want to become real, true, and but we need to receive the mercy. We need to attract Krishna's attention. Just like um, often um, in the in the early days, Bhakti Sadanta Saraswati Goswami was challenged by all kinds of Mayavada or impersonalists or sahajas, and they were. Um, some of the agnostics or atheists show us God. I want to see him. And Bhakti Sadanta replied, No, you act in such a way that he sees you. Who are you to see God? He's, he's not your order supplier. You cannot just demand you appear and I accept you. No. God the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He appears and disappears according to His will, and His sweet will. We cannot command, we cannot demand that 
I accept you only if you reveal yourself. No. We have to appeal to him, we have to attract his mercy, we have to attract his attention. It's like if you love someone, uh, uh, you want to attract their attention by some service, some, something what they like, some something, some experience or pleasant. So Krishna is like that too. If you really want to attract Krishna and his attention, not to speak of revelation within our heart, Chaitya Guru, because the original Guru is within us. We may not be able to perceive him because of our coverings, it's just like Prabhupada says in the purport that as long as one's spiritual eyes are closed, due to the dirty coverings of matter, one cannot see the Lord. But when the dirt is removed by the process of devotional service, one can see the Lord without a doubt. So, we can see Krishna with the ointment of love. And, and, and if you study Brahma Samhita, Bra uh, Brahmaji, the supreme authority of our Sampradaya, the original Guru of our Sampradaya, he explains, he, he had the revelation of the topmost planet, Goloka Vrindavan, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, simply uh, endorsed that um, and taught that and also gave us the opportunity to um, to have an access to Raja Bhumi pastimes of Krishna. And um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so kind to the living entities, Gora, Gora Sundara, so kind that no other avatars or expansions or manifestations of Krishna ever gave. He gave us Raja Bhumi pastimes. He gave us this beautiful opportunity to develop ourselves and one day, either in this life or in the future, we can have an access to these beautiful pastimes and we can even be there. That's something. So, a devotee should know the objective and the goals. We have a very beautiful goal, very sublime, very beautiful to reach the Raja Mandal, the beautiful pastimes of Krishna, Shimata Radharani, Govardhan, cows, all the devotees, very sweet pastimes of Krishna. We have such an opportunity. Because Krishna is very attractive, very sweet. Now there are devotees who are attracted to different expansions and avatars, and Vaikuntha lords. And, but but Mahaprabhu gave us something very special, which no other incarnations ever gave. This is um, the, the Varaja Prema, the beautiful pastimes, and we can meditate on these pastimes. We can read Krishna book. We can read uh, all these beautiful um, pastimes of Mahaprabhu, because it ultimately culminates in the love of Radha and Krishna. The beautiful pastimes of Goloka Vrindavan. And Brahma had this revel rele revelation, uh, revelation in his heart gradually. He had to earn that position. In the beginning, he had no, uh, no realization. But by the mercy of the Lord, gradually, gradually, transcendental knowledge was revealed. So he had this. Uh, uh, transcendental vision of Goloka Vrindavan and he compiled the Brahma Samhita which uh, guides the readers into a very deep transcendental knowledge and experience. One, has, one who has a pure heart, very pure, sincere, then he can comprehend these uh, slokas, Samhita, prayers of Brahmaji. Um, so we are very fortunate to study and even hear about Lord Brahma's Indeva, which is very important for us too. Although we may be very insignificant devotees compared to all great devas and great personalities, but the opportunity is yeah. there. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, in Srimad Bhagavatam, 
giving us that opportunity. So gradually hear, hear from the devotees. Every devotee has their own sincere realization. I like to hear every devotee because everyone has sincere realizations. As they serve Krishna, Krishna reveals your knowledge. He reveals your uh, some essence you feel. And when you speak, you speak from your heart, not just some book knowledge or uh, scriptural quotations. No, we want to be real devotees from the heart, truly experience Krishna consciousness. And we can take it to another level. We can share this. We can distribute it. We, can, we want to touch people's lives. Here's Krishna Bhakti. There's an opportunity here. You can become happy also. And this is the real happiness of the devotee. When you see others, not to speak of seeing Krishna happy, but others taking up Krishna consciousness, especially if they become grateful and happy in their practice. People are suffering in the material world. So when they come to Krishna, it's such a relief for them. So we are very pleased to see that people getting this mercy. Only very, very fortunate souls come and take shelter of this process. So, um, as Srila Prabhupada says in the last paragraph, and when the Lord was satisfied by his penance and devotion, he revealed himself from within with no external, external endeavor. Um, as, as I mentioned, the scientific, scientific process, uh, the so-called scientific um, uh, experimentations, um, ascending process, Ascending process means that you go through your experimentations and you're searching for the absolute truth, but just because they're going through their blunt material senses, imperfect senses, they cannot come to a, a, a perfect conclusion. It's bound to be with interpretations or imperfections, imperfect senses. Uh, but if we are seeking absolute knowledge, transcendental knowledge, without imperfections, then we have to accept the teachings of the divine authorities, the Mahajanas. So, Srila Vyasadeva um, giving us this Bhagavata Kata, so we can also get purified. We can actually have this uh, realization that who Krishna is, and we also have the opportunity to um, attract his mercy and blessings, just like Brahmaji. And so this way um, we can have a comprehension and realization of Srimad Bhagavatam. But that comes by the mercy. So it cannot be emphasized enough. Often I repeat myself because um, so Srila Prabhupada often repeated himself because it's so important to understand, to receive the blessings and it's not automated. Spiritual life is not automated. It's not mechanical. It appears to be. But we need to get the mercy of the higher Vaishnavas. Especially uh, Shiva Prabhupada and, and our spiritual masters, and senior Vaishnavas. We are always in a mood of service. Let's serve each other, help each other in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this is when we get the attraction, attachment. Radha and Krishna is a very special place to be, you go with that. Hare Krishna. Any questions or comments? Any realizations? <laughs> Obviously a very often um, of course questions come. But Chila Prabhupada he said, I only had one question to my Guru Maharaj. <laughs> only one question. How can I serve you? <laughs> How can I serve you? So if you truly understand what service I can do. <laughs> so we want to serve the devotees. We want to be happy ourselves. 
feel that great satisfaction, seeing other devotees are happy, cook for them, do serve them, serve them. This is when uh, you become really blessed. Such a great opportunity to be in the service of the devotees. And this is when Krishna is, is reciprocating with us. He's making sure that uh, you are taken care of. He says, just surrender unto me, I'll give you protection. Do not fear, do not fear, Krishna says. Just give up all these illusions, so-called dharmas. Just give your life to me with love. Surrender unto me. I'll give you full protection. He promises in the Bhagavad Gita, 18th chapter. I'll give you full protection. Do not fear, do not fear. We are fearful because we are attached, we are conditioned. We don't know what to expect. But actually, if you trust, if you have, if you have faith in Krishna, and that faith comes in the association of devotees, reading the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, then our faith, we call Shraddha, faith, will develop. When faith is there, we have confidence. When we act in confidence, then we have realizations. We can perceive Krishna within our heart, within our lives, getting the blessings of Guru and Goranga. We feel happiness. It's not just something we, um, uh, it's not just some kind of uh, ideology that we'll be happy or, no, no, we actually be happy. So this is a um, very special opportunity for all of us. Not just we have a, a very sublime goal of, of reaching Goloka Vrindavan, we turn back home, back to Godhead, of course a very, very beautiful, um, but by nature we also um, like to be happy. We are Ananda Maya, happiness seekers. We like to be happy, enjoy, enjoy this uh, life, but but that is only possible when we take shelter of Krishna, because Krishna is the source of everything, the cause of everything, and when we connect to Him, the original Father of all living entities, Krishna is the best friend, the seed, the seed giving Father of all living entities, and the best well wisher. So He is everything to us. He is our best friend. He is the original Father. We have Radharani and Krishna, the original mother, and Krishna, the original father. So we have everything here. And we take shelter of him, our heart will be fully satisfied. So this is just, every day we have to remind ourselves. That's why we have the classes going on. <laughs> Thank you. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srila Vyasa Deva ki jai. Hare Krishna.